Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the Hunter! Dun 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 dun! Why are we playing as the Hunter? I have not played as the Hunter for a while, and I apologize for the squeak squeak of my microphone being shuffled. Squeak! I took my uh, microphone stand completely apart, and I do believe that I have made it more secure and less likely to just move or fall randomly. I was uh, not doing anything yesterday. I was sitting at my computer, watching some YouTube of just random crap, and my microphone stand fell apart. <laughs> my microphone hit the ground hard, and I uh, was a little startled and a little scared, and like, oh crap, I hope my microphone's okay, and it seems like it's doing all right. But, oh, oh my god! Mimic Tooth Necklace is actually better than Shelaton Key, so all we need is one key for accessing that. And we will do it immediately as soon as we get the cash. Um, but basically, yeah, I was a little bit scared of... Ooh, actually, Mimic Tooth Necklace might not be better, because if we get Mimic Tooth Necklace, we still won't be able to go down to the Oubliette without having two additional keys. But if we get Shelaton Key, we can do everything. So, you know what, we'll have to... We'll have to figure out what we're doing probably after our boss fight. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, my microphone fell down. I was a little worried, but it's working fine. The microphone stand has been tightened, and I certainly hope that it is not gonna fall apart anymore, because I, uh, I knew it was, like, kinda falling apart, and I just kinda neglected actually maintaining it. It's also a piece of garbage. I probably bought it for, like, 10 bucks out of the back of some music magazine or something, I don't remember. It's all good, it's all good. <clears throat> Excuse me, had a cough to myself for a second there. Kung Palkin, Kung Pao Chicken? Asks, first of all, hello, welcome, asks, how do you unlock the alternate gun? This thing here, this magic witch pistol rusty sidearm, which doesn't even look rusty, I guess this is the unrusty sidearm. Um, you just have to beat your past wearing the alternate skin. So beat your past as the hunter wearing the wolf costume. That's it. That's how you unlock all of the alternative guns. It's uh, nice and easy. It's a good reason to do the pasts once again after you've already done them. Done them. So I like it. I don't mind it. The strange man says, I gotta go finish mowing the lawn and hopefully don't get stung by more wasps. I hope to be, bring, be back in time to join Risk of Rain 2. If we play any tonight, but also, you should go deal with those wasps. <laughs> go call somebody. Get some wasp spray. Go out there, spray them, and then when they uh, flee their nest and kill you, then I get your stereo. Right? That's what I think. It's a long walk to go to this room. I wish every room had a teleporter. Beat the Lich or your character's past with the alternate costume, says Wordgurg. I'm pretty sure it is just the past. Because I've... I did plenty of Lich killing uh, with the alternate costumes, and I don't think I remember getting the alternate gun unlock. It was only when I specifically did the past I got the gun unlocked, I, if I remember correctly. Then again, it was a while ago, but hey, all the video evidence exists. Go look for yourself if you don't believe me. One day, these shots will land. Dude, they didn't even spawn any little dudes. I love it. Boo wasps, says GT Cork. Exactly. Boo wasps, but love the bees. Bees are your friends. Bzz, 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 not bzz, bzz, bzz. I keep missing my shots, but you know what? Dodging is the most important thing here. Got him. Now we did get a second key. We do not have... A third key, however, unless we find a secret room. So let's take a quick one moment, possibly look for a secret room, because if we can find, well, it might be in one of these rooms. I just don't want the chests to be wicked. But if we can find the secret room, and if it has a lot of keys in it, we might be able to get Shelaton Key in order to 
handle opening the chests. And if we don't, we can at least get Mimic Tooth Necklace to open the chest. But if we get Mimic to Tooth Necklace, we can't go down to the Ubli yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm still thinking about it. Hmm. I gotta think. I don't know. Oh, that's a good chest. That's a good chest. And these could contain keys. Oh, and they don't. It's just two photos. How does this work? <laughs> I get hit. I get really, really angry. I get one photo for each eye. Oh, I've gone cross-eyed. Um, well, that's an interesting one. So we can at least buy the key and at least get Shelton key. It means we're not gonna get Mimic Tooth Necklace. The reason why, by the way, Mimic Tooth Necklace is so powerful and so good is that in addition to being able to open all of the chests by killing the Mimics and all of these chests by killing the Mimics, oh boy, Freeze Ray, you can also with Mimic Tooth Necklace get a bonus item out of the pedestals. So you get more items if you get Mimic Tooth Necklace as opposed to Shelaton Key, but unfortunately it doesn't actually open up these locks. But it is what it is. We're gonna go down to the Oubliette. We have free access to basically everything, which is pretty damn good. Word Gerg says, I swear I only get heart upgrades from Red Chest or Freeze Ray, lol, I hate them. I also kind of agree. Hey, Shrine Room. I also tend to get pretty not great things from the uh, the red chests. I mean, in general, I think just there's not a lot of good items in the red chest, but I do agree that there's a proportionate amount of just kind of trash items, especially where uh, HP upgrades are concerned. Because I'm pretty sure, maybe not, every HP upgrade can appear in one of those red chests, but I, I think red chests have the most prevalence of HP upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. And also, if you get an HP upgrade, you get a key out of the chest as well, as the game's way of saying, we know this is bad, but here's a key anyways. Shrug, it is what it is, I suppose, but... Yeah, you always hate to have it. You always hate to have the, uh... the HP upgrade out of the chest 99 times out of 100, you ain't gonna need it. Or at least we should say you shouldn't need it. Maybe you will need it, which is not to say all, you know anything, it's not to say anything one way or the other. It just is to say HP is not all that helpful. You know, you'd rather have a sweet ass gun. One day, okay, you know what? Gotta actually get in there, fine. Word Gurg says, I'll pick a brown chest first. No issue. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'd still take the red chest. Cause there's some pretty sweet items that, go oh, that can help you to break the game in one form or another. I'm looking at you, uh, gun soul combined with cigarettes. There's some good stuff in there. You know, mass shotgun might be a pretty good gun for this situation. What is this situation, quote unquote? This situation is, I really just don't know what I want to use as a room clear right now. I guess the biggest negative is, is a subtle lack of range. But there's some pretty good Mass shotgun synergies. I mean, really, I think the biggest one is just mine cutter. So you get the laser shots out of it. It's still a fun gun. It's not my favorite gun. I don't know whose favorite shotgun this is. I wanna, I wanna know whose favorite shotgun this is, and I wanna, I wanna tease them. I wanna be like, ha ha ha! You like my shotgun? It's your favorite gun. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'll take the scouter. I like the uh, extra damage. Now I'm, I'm, I'm debating something in my head right now. I'm debating telling you guys that, uh, I guess I'm gonna say it now. 
<laughs> I had a very strange dream last night. I'm curious about people in Twitch chat, people on YouTube as well. Do you guys have like weird dreams or interesting dreams or dreams that you uh, don't remember when you wake up or you, you, you kind of remember them? I had a very strange, vivid dream last night. And it was very strange because it wasn't like anything fantasy-like. Well, I mean, I certainly hope it's not a fantasy. It was just me, like in the future, doing this professionally. That's what, and like having a business related to making content for YouTube and Twitch. That was what my dream was about. So, you know, a certain part of me is, oh my God. A certain part of me is definitely hoping that that's not gonna end up being a fantasy, but it was a very weird, interesting dream. It had a lot of interesting components to it that I'm not gonna go into, but I felt I felt it was very amusing when I woke up, but also very sort of just like energizing. I feel like oh, if that's if that's my dream, quite literally, time to you know double down and put some more effort into this crap. You know what I mean? Plot twist: you're still in a dream. No, well, no, that would be hell doing this forever. Wait a minute, but that's also my dream wall. <gasps> I'm trapped. But no, it was a very, uh, just weird situational dream. Just made me uh, kind of wake up being very, very energized and being like, I want to make content right now. <laughs> that's what I want to do in this moment. I want to be very productive. So I was very productive today. Got a lot of stuff done, a lot of random stuff things that I've been putting off, neglecting, paying the rent, etc., etc. Being annoyed that my uh, housemate is currently still uh, visiting family in in uh, New York, so I had to go deliver the the mail or the the rent mail. I can't do that all the time. I don't I don't want to do that in the winter because in the winter it's going to be real freaking cold, and if I'm riding my bike out in the winter, I'm going to be cold. I don't have a good winter coat right now. I got a winter jacket. Which is not to say I don't appreciate a good winter coat. I just, I never went out and bought one. I just got like several jackets. I'll just put them, put them on in layers if I, if I so desire. You know what I mean? Okay, you guys are kind of hard to kill with the mass shotgun. Just saying. Probably gonna switch over to the crossbow. Still kills them in two shots. Hold on, that does 24 damage, that does 27. You know, that's very interesting to know. Mass shotgun is better than the crossbow. Cool. You learn something new every day, kids. Fredacula says, I once dreamt that I had a boring office job like nothing happened the whole dream to sitting at a desk looking at papers. <laughs> Dude, that's a, uh, that's a great dream. How much damage does this do now? 47. I don't know if the double effect of those is actually applying. I kinda hope it is. That's a great dream. <laughs> All right, fine, you savages. There's your dog petting, okay? There you go. Also, hello to Forrest James in chat and give me some rope. All right, good enough. Um, we're done. <coughs> we're done. Let's go and fight the boss. GT Quirk says, I had a dream last week someone was telling me about their wedding in Malaysia next June and you didn't know who they were. So you you just, some random person was like, hey Quirk, you're coming to our wedding, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, a, it's like an episode of Seinfeld and you're like, I don't know this person. Come on, of course you know this person, Jerry. I'm telling you, I don't know them. George is saying that uh, that you don't have to go because you know you're not that good of friends. Elaine is saying that uh, maybe you should just confront them. Kramer is saying free trip to Malaysia if they're paying. It's a pretty random dream. <laughs> I've never had a dream about being in work or at work. Hey, there's a mind cutter synergy. Uh, I have had a dream though of of you know being at at school. I think everyone has those dreams of like I there's something I got to do today. I don't remember what it was cuz I shouldn't be here. I don't understand what's happening. 
And just that, maybe that's just being, that, that's part of the dream, of just not understanding what's happening or what's going on, and you just, your brain just wants to dream of, <laughs> of a school environment to put you in. Thanks, brain, thank you. You're a gentleman and a scholar. I'm gonna get rid of the crossbow. I'm also gonna get rid of, I don't know, one of these. <laughs> okay, hold up. Gotta drop it in here, all right, goodbye. Nope, all right, you know, fine, you bounced off your freaking head. There you go. No, oh, you can't take it because it's not a, because it's a starting item. I guess I'm stuck with them. Oops, my bad. Whatever, I got 72 credits, get me the heck out of here. Good synergy, though. <laughs> Word Gerg says, Love Mass Shotgun, certainly not favorite. I mean, it's a good gun, especially now with the synergy. It's actually, like, pretty dynamite, let's say. Because with the synergy, it fires these uh, awesome laser shots whenever the pellets land. It's pretty good. The pellets, not the main bullet. I can't tell, but it looks like the pellets do like... Oh! No, we're good. Looks like the pellets do like... I was gonna say six damage. And then the beams do four, okay. So yeah, the pellets are doing six, the beams are doing four. That means that this is a, uh, what is it, like... 66% damage upgrade on mass shotgun if everything lands? That's pretty good. You know, a 66% damage upgrade, you don't find those that often in the gungeon. Aw, oh, crap, we gotta go across this stupid room. There we go. You gotta wonder what that synergy once where the game would lag really hard whenever the beams burst out, says Verdacula. I've had a run where every gun in the game would probably lag out at some point. That's just kind of what I do, isn't it? Um, but if I had to guess, it might have been some sort of like Scatter shot effect or something. Scatter shot flak bullets with the mass shotgun. Maybe also table tech uh, triple kit, which is table tech flip, which is table tech stun, which is not table tech stun. It's table tech, table tech, table tech uh, sight. There we go. My God, there's a lot of table techs in this stupid game, and only three of them are any good. I have a reload up. I need to be firing this much faster. Yeah, that's more like it. I got the groove on. Also, I don't know. We should deliver the old crest first. I don't know how close we are to getting a payout out of Lament Configuring, but I don't want to risk my, my crest if I can avoid it. Derringer? Well, oh, fine. Hey, at least we have a dynamite bullet, and that actually simplified this room a lot, because I'm pretty sure the enemy in the middle is uh, very big and annoying. Derringer does 11 damage. That's pretty good. What is it? 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 <laughs> Oh, Mega Bullets. Well, that doubles the damage of Mass Shotgun. All right, so I guess we'll use Mass Shotgun for a while. <laughs> the game is just forcing me into the Mass Shotgun build, and you know what? I'll take it, man. Hold on. Okay, so the, the pellets are only doing four damage. Sorry, the pellets are only doing six damage and the beams are still only doing four damage. So it only improves the damage of the main shot, I think. The big shot. All of the pellets, all of the beams, they still have their normal damage, I, I believe. Yeah, because that's doing 31 now instead of 27. That did 52. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's actually still pretty good, because Mass Shotgun, it's always been decent at range, but close up, if you hit him with this big bullet, it doesn't do that much damage. Now it will kill him. That seems pretty freaking good, honestly. I'll take it. GT Quirk says, best dress dream I had a couple months ago. You know that feeling of freak out when you show up for something like school, work, public speaking, and you're missing something. 
I had that with my COVID edition, super anxious because I dreamt I forgot my mask, says GT Cork. I did that the other day when I was uh, going to the grocery store for just like one thing. I just like, I really wanted a soda. It's just like, I just want like caffeine in my system. A soda, coffee, I don't care what. And I got there and I realized I forgot my mask. So I just wore my helmet inside. No one, no one said anything. But still, I felt dumb walking in with a helmet on, but I just forgot. I just forgot my my mask. Very, very saddened by that. It's like, come on, brain. Come on, Abe, remember your freaking mask. You had one duty. Oh man, it's so good. You, not so good. You know, let's keep going. We're only like two rooms away. We should also use this. Yeah, no, no reason not to. We also got hurt twice, which is real dumb, but hey, we got the rat sack. Incentivizes going to the rat floor. We'll get a new item out of the rat chest. We'll see, we'll see. But yes, I, I try to always remember to put one in my pocket directly now. Because what usually happens is I usually put um, like a, a backup mask and my like, you know, motorcycle insurance and whatnot in my jacket pocket. But I went without my jacket on that day because it was a really nice day out. I just wore a t-shirt and it's just down the road. So it's not like, I'm not, I'm not being super dumb about it. I'm not like, you know, driving on the interstate without protection or anything like that. I just went down the down the store to or down the street to the store. But I did forget everything, so now I just put them in my pocket, directly in my pants pocket. Uh hmm. I think we're done. Mass shotgun or commando for the boss? I guess it depends entirely on the boss. Also speaking of bees. I do like mass shotgun for this guy. He's mostly stationary in the center. Don't forget, you can fire super quickly. You're gonna hit the damage cap, but just do it anyways. You wanna shoot the missiles whenever they come out. The multiple projectiles are actually pretty good at knocking down the missiles, and you know, even if you just subtly miss, the laser should hit, you're gonna do a decent amount of damage. That was very, very easy. It changed my gun. Also, this is gonna do double damage. I kind of hate it because I don't want to use it. You can't make me. Also, I have some bees. How much damage did that do? Well, it didn't hit directly, so the world may never know. All right, you know what? We got enough money. Unfortunately, I can't really buy the glass guan stones. I guess technically I could, but I really don't want to. I don't want to drop all the guan stones every single time I use Lament Configure them. That's too much for me. That's too much. It's way too much. Okay, who's walking? Word Gerg says, it's crazy to think six months ago, the police might have been called for walking into a grocery store with a mask. <laughs> I, I mentioned this once before. Um, I think the most interesting thing to me about this whole thing is how it normalizing masks are gonna be from now on. Like, I, I've, I've always found it very interesting how in uh, other cultures, especially like Japanese culture, masks are just like a way of life. You, you'll see people wearing masks, you know, on the subway or just out on the streets, and it's, it's not a problem. No one bats an eye out of it at, at that. It's just completely normal. If someone's walking down the street, well, was walking down the street in the United States and they had a mask on, people would be like, oh, I wonder why they have a mask on. It, would, it wouldn't prompt any sort of like reaction other than curiosity. But I, f I find it very interesting that at this point, it's going to be so normalized. It's gonna be essentially, hey, this person has a mask on. Well, it, it's not even worth my brain noticing that fact. It's just, it's a person with a mask on, who cares? I find that very interesting.
that do 66 damage? God, these guys have a lot of health. My lord. <laughs> Dernuna says, I hope for a six chamber chest friend, lots of curse run. We've had that recently, Dernuna. We've had a lot of, uh... hello. We've had um, a run where we had a lot of curse and spice. We had one HP. We've had runs where we've just had a lot of curse with nothing really going for it out of Lament Configurum, although we have had a run where Lament Configurum gave us the clone, which recently, when that happened, it was probably the most fun, best run I've ever had. Check it out on YouTube, not now, but in like a week. <laughs> or check the VOD from a couple days ago. But damn, that was a fun run. Um, I still like using Lament, though. I'll still use Lament every time it shows up. As long as I don't have like another active item and I haven't used it like literally on the last run. I just find it a fun item. Our secondary gun should be something a lot better. Oh, damn. That's the first time we... That's the first time we got hit on the run other than let configure him. Oh, I just realized something and it makes total sense. I just realized that the, oh, I can't open you, that the um, photo is not affecting the pellets or the beams from mass shotgun. Nothing does. Not again, not again! Um, I, I guess only the large primary shot is affected by damage upgrades. The pellets and the beams are not affected by anything potentially. Now, I, I don't think that's right, because I, I, I've seen like fat bullets and whatnot make the pellets really large, I, if I remember correctly. But maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe nothing makes the pellets or the beams be better. It only makes the main projectile better, which would be very strange. I don't know, unusual. I would say it's not unusual, but then I'd bust out into song. And nobody, nobody wants that. You had one HP. <laughs> one is the loneliest number that you'll ever know. I'll take another key. I need another key shop. That's what I need. Dude, honestly, I should just use mass shotgun as just a shotgun, <laughs> you know? Just jump in front of an enemy, shoot him point blank, let the 66 damage from the mass shotgun shot kill him quickly. I think that's how you, you should just be using this right now, with the Omega bullet item. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Don't know how he did that. Episode 500 special says, give me some rope. Um, no, I think it'll be before 500, but it's definitely up there. I don't have like an actual list of uh, my Gungeon backlog or not. I think the dog paid out with this bling, so he gets a little bit of a pet. There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough. AB0020, there's your petting, by the way. This is for you. Hey, Mud, hello, welcome, how's it going? Good to see ya, old buddy, old friend, old buddy, old pal. Hope you're having a great day. Eh, let's keep, keep exploring. Um, yeah, let's keep exploring. I wanna find the other chest before we fight the boss. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm looking for. I mean, I think we can handle old jerk king pretty easily here. Okay, you know, the, hitting an enemy with the pellets and beams, it does deal more damage if most of the, the things impact, but still gotta admit, you know, 66 damage from point blank shot is pretty good. Oh, 
Omega Bullet. So now every bullet will have poison. But I don't know if that's gonna include the pellets or not. I'm, I'm still on the fence about how this actually works. CyberGecko64 says, I am taking a break from my dankest dungeon. My last run did not go well. Well, time to send everyone to their deaths and start a new playthrough. Buenorama, hello, welcome. Why is it only 1080p the stream? Ah, uh, you know, really the only option is, the only answer to that is Twitch. I have literally no control over the resolution. Well, that's not true. I could just stream at a lower resolution, which I'd rather not do. <laughs> There's only so much I can do. I am only a man after all. I am not a machine. All right, that seemed pretty good. You know what? Figured you'd be doing that. Let's just get a freak. Oh, I see him. Do you see him? Do you see our Lord and Savior, Mr. Shell Boy? Because there he is. And he synergizes with the Shellaton key. Shellaton. Okay. Hello, Mr. Shellaton. Let's see what he does. I don't know, fires more beams? Eh, that seems pretty good. I don't think I'll, I'll, I don't think I'll complain about him being better. I just wish he was always better, but oh well. Shellatron Prime. Natural selection, well, that's pretty bad. Um, all right. We're basically done with the floor we found. Our brother, so we're probably not guaranteed to find anything else. We're just gonna leave. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. Little Black Falcon, hello, welcome as well. Long time no see, my friend. Good to see you. Down, down, right. Uh, how do we get to the freaking shop? Down, right, down. Okay. Hope you're having good days. Okay, go Shelton. Do it again. I mean, okay, you know that blue shotgunner, he's eating crap. I think Shelton is uh, a little slow on the damage output maybe, but he'll... <laughs> Let's be honest, he's not getting any better. He ain't getting any younger. He's as good as he's ever gonna get at this point. <sighs> uh. I would send you a Shelly boy, but my sub went out. Plan on subscribing again soon, says. CyberGecko64. You know what? Great ex great excuse to use your channel points and unlock Shella Boy. <laughs> God, I gotta do something with those points. I am going to. I have ideas. Now that I have some more free time, I'm gonna start implementing some of those in the near future. Um, I mean, it's all real good. So don't you worry. Don't. You worry your pretty little head off. Cartographers have been pretty good so far in this run. Yeah, I mean, what is it, like a 50-50 chance of doing anything? So the fact that it's worked multiple times has been pretty sweet. I feel like it's worked every floor so far, which is uh, very good.
You got this one, Shella boy. I believe in you. I believe in you that much. Gabe's been banned. I should make a, uh, I should make an Easter egg command for the chatbot if people try to ban me from my own chatbot. <laughs> Maybe have it just ban them in return. Like, nah, you don't have that sort of power. I'm gonna show you who really has the power and it actually bans them. Not like a, a phony like, oh, you've been banned. No, it's like, you're timed out for 30 minutes. Come back when you don't wanna start a revolution. Oh, God, I thought we got him in the mine cart. He came at me so fast. There was nothing I could do, dude. You can get in a mine cart? I always forget that because you never see hell bulletkins in a level with a mine cart. <laughs> oh, excuse me, we don't talk about channel points, that's why I've been banned? I'll make it timeout mud though. I don't care who it times out. Can't ban me. Dun, 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 can't ban this. Later. Later. It's a great gun, man. It's working pretty well so far. Hmm. I'm do just doing what you said, banning yourself. All right. Well, you know what? I guess it's true. You're, you're, uh, what is it? Like, K, uh, lawful neutral. You're just following the orders, <laughs> regardless of who they impact. Or does that make you lawful evil? I, I forget. I'm not good at the whole, you know, D&D system of morality. He's like almost good. Okay, now you're actually like pretty bad. All right, let's see what we get. Good synergy, Alpha and the Omega. What? Jam. What does this do? I mean, now we're, oh, I got stuck on the wall. Now we're doing 88 damage at least per shotgun shot. I mean, we were doing 27. That means we should be doing 54. And then add another like 80% to that. Yeah, like 88, that's that's within the realm of possibility. Hey, he the beast, thank you very much for the gift sub to Cyber Gecko. You aren't supposed to do that. He's supposed to use his, his um, um, things. I don't wanna get banned again by chat. Uh, in order to get them. He wasn't using his things. Thank you very much regardless. Top right, by the way, September, AKA September, AKA Cheap Subs, AKA support your favorite streamer today. Do it. Hmm. This is gonna do a lot of damage, isn't it? But the only thing is I wish it, you know, bypassed the damage cap or something because it is a freaking dueling laser, but. You know what, it's still pretty freaking good. Wait, hold on. Send the bees, can they do anything? If the bees attach before he goes invisible, they do work, by the way. They just don't work when he's already invisible. <laughs> okay, okay. You see, now you got me interested. Now I'm interested, game. How the heck is Shella Boy gonna function now? He should be pretty good, right? Like, pretty, pretty, pretty good? Got a synergy with this? All right, uh, they explode. Oh God, that's bad. Um, you know, honestly, 
Hold on, I gotta, I gotta actually test this out, I think. Also, because we have poison shots, it seems like a pretty prudent call. This will, this, these will hurt me, right? When they blow up. Yeah, it'll hurt me when I, when they blow up. So I'm gonna drop the M1, because the M1 is really bad with the shark gun, because the sharks blow you up. I would prefer if the sharks don't blow me up, but it's still funny, so I'm gonna just take it regardless. I'll just learn to accept that we might, in fact, get hit. I think I can do that. The wolf works when he's invisible, right? Question mark asks Mud. Familiars do not work when you are invisible or hiding under a box or whatever. So I'm pretty sure anything that applies invisibility will just make your uh, units stand down. Hey Quark, thank you for the cheer. Shelly Arm Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. He does love wiggling his arms. He's a very big wiggler. He's he's into the wiggling. Ta -da. Immediate cap glass cannon would be sick right now, says Verdacula. Yeah, it'd be like four times damage glass cannon. That would be absolutely dope. Right, right, down, left, up, left. Andy Kappa 25, hello, welcome. How are you doing? Down, left, up, left. Cybergecko says, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. Well, I hope you decide to eat something good. Ah, thank you, my friend. But there was no way I was gonna kill that enemy who was trapped inside of a table because that's where he decided to spawn in. Oh my god. I hate the freaking cobwebs, man! Take this. Take this. A strange mid asks, what are all the possible ways to get duplicate items? Uh, I'm pretty sure the only way to get duplicate items is mimics. It's mimics and maybe specialty shops, although I'm not entirely sure about them. I, I don't think they can give you the same item on the same run, but I I think they're immune to um, item memory for the first previous runs. It's been a while though, I haven't really paid too much attention to it for the most part. Well, what a, what a shot. Got him though! Oh my god! I was gonna say we did so much damage, I wonder if we're bypassing the damage cap. Well, now we got a scatter shot. Can't you get dupes from glitch chests? Asks the strange med. Ah, you're right. You should really be, uh, you know, I guess you know more than I do. <laughs> but you're absolutely correct. You can get duplicate items from a glitch chest, you'll get them uh, immediately, as opposed to. You know, maybe later on your run or something. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got a, a good head on your shoulders there. Ah, whoa! His beam hit me. His like, it, like spawned almost inside of me. But at least we did kill the, uh, the one... Missile drum. Now we just gotta focus this guy down. We'll get him. Got him. The wolf still attacks Cannon Balrog while he's invisible, right? 
Sorry, Mr. Goldfish, I forgot about your memory. Oh, you meant when the, uh, when the boss is invisible, asks Mud. I thought you meant when the player was invisible. I, I misread it slash misunderstood. Yeah, um, the wolf will hurt uh, Cannon Balrog while he's invisible, as will uh, fire on the ground, as will any sort of explosion. Basically, anything that does AoE damage, and that does include the wolf for some reason, anything anything that does AoE damage will still hit Cannon Balrog when he's invisible. So, yeah, the wolf will totally work. Oh boy, I see the world's best gun. Yuck, 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 yuck. Rage from the photo might be getting me over the damage cap. I mean, we'll have to check that. Oh, I thought that was the third phase. AB0020 says Abe's the hunter. I even mentioned it earlier when you were here. I was like, hey, AB0020, I'm, I'm getting the dog petted just for you. Jesus. Am I the only one who pays attention around here? I love the punch out when he's stunned. Shelly Boy should be cheering you on in the corner. <laughs> Come hither, pilgrim. Um. Okay, well, that did not work as well as I expected it to, but sure, sure. Hey, we did get uh, Gun Soul, though. If only we can get cigarettes, we'll be loving life. I thought you got the dog, I didn't see who you were, says AB0020, gotcha. Well, maybe you should pay more attention to me, huh? You never pay attention to me anymore. Let's see what we get. Uh, I think we are going to get a... I think we're gonna get a green tier passive HP upgrade. Not out of this chest, but out of this one. No, we got Gunder Fury. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'll take it. No, yeah, sure, why not? I had nothing else better to do with my time. Might as well just take you this gun. Hey, I'm you, by the way. I love being the rat and actually being the rat. Actually, you know, having his soul. Being able to emulate him to all of his friends. Being able to ruin this rat's stupid effing life. I love him the power. You F, dude. GLHF. By the way, take all that garbage. Take all that garbage guns. I don't even want it anymore. I don't know what I'm taking ammo for. I didn't even use either of these guns, I don't think. Oh well. Run is wrecked, I hope so. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look at something real quick. Gungeon, dueling, laser. The base damage of the dueling laser is 100. So if you multiply that by four, which is alpha and omega bullets, that's about 400 damage. Then, okay, hold up, hold up. Uh, Gungeon photo. The photo improves your damage by double damage. So that brings you to about times eight damage or about 800. Okay, the Scouter is 10% damage, so that's about 880. And the double photo is another double damage. Oh my god, the photos are working. <laughs> we can break the damage cap if we take damage on a boss fight with the dueling laser. <laughs> but it's, it's... These photos, instead of doing times two, they're doing times four damage by having both of them, I believe. That's lovely, that's wonderful. Okay, okay. So you know what, double photo power 
is actually working. I had no idea that it would actually work, but it's working, and I love it. Also, this is incredible. I think we have a broken synergy here. Yeah, yeah. So, I didn't even think about this until right now. Would you care to get, take a guess as to why this is broken? With the mass shotgun? We mentioned it earlier in the run. Do, do, do. <laughs> the reason why this is broken is because remember, damage modifiers don't seem to affect the pellets or the beams. So now we just have triple the damage whenever we shoot the shots long distance like this. The pellets are still doing base six damage and the beams are still doing base four damage. So if we, if we stand back and shoot, we are just obliterating enemies. All right. There's their dog petting. Congratulations, guys, you win. He's getting pet by a rat, isn't that adorable? Why am I larger than the dog? I'm a big rat. <laughs> I only just realized that. I am a big rat. I'm huge. Anyways, yeah, so the mass shotgun is amazing at range. Um, but as we have also just learned, the quadru quadruple damage of the... Oh my god, look at that, you love it. It is lagging a little bit too. <laughs> the, qual the quadruple damage from the dueling laser allows us to potentially one-shot bosses, although it's more apt to say that it's not a one-shot, it is negating the boss damage cap, allowing you to do more than a thousand damage in a single, single shot, which is a lot of fun. It's a charge gun, unfortunately, so I don't think you can, wait, it's a charge, no, yeah, you do have to wait for, the, for it to charge. I was thinking the photo does technically reload your gun, but it's different. The dueling laser has two different mechanics. One is a reload. You gotta reload your gun before you can fire it again. But on top of the reload, it also has a charge, so you can't just force the reload to happen and then expect it to shoot again. You know, it's not like, you know, think about the RPG. When you put the RPG in your back pocket, it reloads after like six seconds passively. Oh my lord. Oh, we'll buy this for certain. We have absurd amounts of HP. Uh, but when you put the dueling laser in your back pocket, it might reload, but it, it doesn't get ready to fire in, in like six seconds. You gotta do enough damage for it to charge. The charge is completely separate. We're also doing incredible damage with the main mass shotgun shots, just because of the fact that we have alpha bullets, omega bullets, poison bullets, scouter. You know, those shots are, are getting the job done. All right. Reverse Apollo says, I never thought I'd see Abe pet the dog for that long. That's because I've, you know, Abe, why don't you take the KC when you see it on a run? Well, that's because it's not part of my rule set. You know, we've, cre we've created a rule set over the course of these Gungeon runs. When I start with the KC on Paradox, KC all day, every day. I will do a KC only run to to appease you Casey lovers out there, who, which I am, I am a Casey lover. But I'm not obligated to use it any other times. We're gonna do, a, we're gonna in, institute a pet the dog rule set here. We gotta pet the dog whenever the dog gives us an item and we notice it. That's the rule, otherwise the dog is just, you know, not deserving of the pets until he gives us an item. It's positive, Reinforcement, friends. Positive reinforcement. Yes, hello. <laughs> really need to be firing this faster because uh, that's very lovely. I love it. Crazy about Casey. Crazy about Casey says Verdacula. Other than your misspelling, yes. I mean, I think Casey is the one of the best guns in the game. It might even be the best gun in the game because it has infinite ammo, I don't know. 
It's kind of an it depends thing. Also, posed, hello, welcome, I, I saw you in chat a minute ago. Is plunger infinite or recharge a portion? It's infinite. When you have the plunger and you reload in, in goop, it's infinite, it gives you all the ammo back. It's pretty good. It's very good if you duct tape it with something because then you, you, know, you get an infinite ammo gun of, of your choosing. But I don't like the plunger for the most part anyways. It's just not a good gun, you know, it does, doesn't do that much damage. It takes a long time to kill anything. It's like, who cares? 600 epi episodes ago, he hated it, says Mud. If you're talking about Casey, I never hated it, but I never loved it. Like, I understood the value of it, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't play it myself. I, I would always hurt myself. I didn't think it was amazing. And then I learned to love it. I, I learned to stop worrying and love the Casey. And that's what I do now. I just love the Casey. All day, every day. Um, so it's gotta be like, I don't know. Something like this. All right, uh, maybe something like this. All right, maybe something like, I don't know, this? Maybe something like this. All right, you know, good enough. <laughs> 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 oh, I uh, I laugh because otherwise I'll cry. We know where the secret room is. We found the secret room guy. Is he here? He's not here. Is he here? He's not here. All right, we just gotta look around and we'll see him. I always forget when I get the item that lets me see the secret rooms. Oh well. I tried training the dog with positive reinforcement, but I accidentally pet him when picking up the blunderbuss and now my RNG sucks as for Dacula. That sounds like a great idea. I was thinking about that of positive reinforcement for the dog. You could like up to double the drop chance of the dog by petting him whenever he drops with an I drops an item. Might take a while to, you know, really get the good payouts there. I mean, I tried to dodge it. The game is just a little bit too laggy with the bullets that uh, I think it kind of ate my input for a second. I really wanted the flawless though. I wanted to, you know, really stack up HP. There's two more that we can get on the on the run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could have had eleven. Oh well, I will still take it. I'm surprised there's no synergy here for us. That's okay. All right, this might be bannable on uh, boss fights at this point. Look at the spread, I love it. This might be a bannable gun for boss fights because the spread is, not the spread, the uh, lag is just a little redonkulous. That's okay. Wordgurg says best gun favorite, bundle of wands because it's so reliable. Bundle of Wands, other than just being like a decent blue level gun, I don't think does enough for me to m make it my favorite. Because there's so many other guns in the game that are cool, along with being good. Like, look at this! This is cool! <laughs> and it's good. It's so cool, it's lagging my game. Look, something will die eventually if I just keep shooting, so I'm not really that worried. I got Blood Brooch. It's like not a good item, but I got it. Oh my god. The subtle lag is just making me walk into bullets sometimes. It's eating my input for a second. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I'm flying, but we'll take a moment to pet the dog. If you duct tape a gun to plunger with scatter shot, would the shots from the other shot be tripled or only once? Tripled three times. If you duct tape a gun to the plunger while having scatter shot, would the shots from the other gun be tripled three times or only once? 
Only once, I believe, is the answer to your question. Duct taping doesn't affect scattershot, um, except for maybe affecting, affecting it poorly in certain situations. I hate to even say that because I'm not entirely certain, but sometimes bullet pa passives will not affect a gun until you reload it once, and because the plunger can't be reloaded really easily, then it might have some very weird interactions. I don't know, that's that's theory crafting though. Oh, you know what the lag, oh, I'm an idiot. The lag is not from mass shotgun, it's from the freaking scouter. All the ones and all the fours and all the sixes, all that crap. That's what's freezing the game. Well, no, I mean, that was a little bit laggy too. Let's say it's both, okay? Let's both be right and both be wrong at the same time. Synergies do make things more interesting. I mean, Bundle of Wands has synergies. Like, improves the chances of transmogrifying and also makes the uh, the owl an undead owl. But I think just in general, I, I just prefer more bombastic, cool, effective uh, items than guns. Because, like, Bundle of Wands is amazing. For a blue level gun, it, it almost can't be beat. Uh, specifically as a boss killer. I just don't know if it's cool enough. I have uh, eccentric tastes within the gungeon, you know? Later, guys! He lived? No, the chicken got him, perfect. Whatever you have now is nuts. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's nuts, but it's pretty good. All right, I think we're pretty good on the secret room for that room. I gotta check it. One day it'll be in there. Don't dodge roll directly into the chest, you idiot. Also, we have... Wait, do we not? No, yeah, we have Brook of Cash. I was gonna say we don't have Brook of Cash, but no, we do have Brook of Cash. We'll be able to see him. We just gotta go find him. Don't worry about shooting all the walls. Don't waste your ammo. I love slowly approaching an enemy being like, my bullets are getting closer. The spread is tightening. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, punk. I do love the spread we can we can get with this though. Reverse Apollo says Abe's still checking for secret rooms and Brick of Cash is hilarious. I wouldn't say it's hilarious, I would say it's sad. Really. This guy's been playing for how long? Still can't seem to remember that he has basic items that affect his necessity for uh for checking for secrets. Yup. Is a secret room not on the map, says Mud. Nope. It was a cartographer's room secret room and cartographer, cartographer's room. Oh my freaking God. The cartographer's ring does not show you secret rooms. There we go. Ah, oh. hey Baze Knight, how's it going? Welcome. What's up, dude? Baze, how have you been enjoying uh, your smite sessions, huh? I saw, was it you and Mud playing the other day when Mud was streaming? It may have been when you and Mud was, were playing the other day. Looked fun, looked interesting. Not really my cup of tea, but hey, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. Excuse me, dude. Oh. All right, good. Word Gerg says, gotta leave for an hour, what are you doing later, just curious. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I kinda wanna mix it up a little bit and play some random stuff today, but 
you know, Gungeon, Monster Train are usually pretty good guesses. Uh, I don't know, I, I actually, today might be a day where I just pick random games from my Steam list and just play them. Or old favorites, games that people want me to play. You know, I don't know, might mix it up. I'll do it. Worst is the freaking enemies. Who are invincible half the time. They blow. I'm on fire. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted. I can yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We don't need to do it, okay? We got it. We got the item. We, look. Yes, I'm an idiot, okay? Don't worry about me. Just worry about yourself, all right? My god. Quirk says only a couple more weeks until Spelunky 2, right? Question mark. Technically Spelunky, oh, there's our HP upgrade we missed on the last floor. We're now at 10? We also got Unbelievably Charming, which is now useless. Uh, technically Spelunky 2 is out on the PS4 right now. Because this is the 15th of September, 2020. And it is out, but it's not gonna be out for PC for two more weeks. So in two weeks from today, we will play it. I am not personally gonna watch content on the game. I'm going to not spoil myself. And when I do play it, I will put up like a no spoiler, you know, warning. Because I don't want to be spoiled. I'll be giving you spoilers because I'm going to be playing it, but I don't want to be spoiled in advance. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm out of ammo! What? What? You? You! What are you doing here? I thought I killed you. Quirk says, I don't have a PS4. I also don't have a PS4. Maze Knight says, Smite's been great till I tried to jungle, lol. All right, I don't know what that means. Sounds good though. <laughs> Um, we can pull you way far down. Reverse Apollo says, I want to see Abe fight shop shopkeepers to death. I hope they're harder to kill in Spelunky 2, because in Spelunky 1, you could always kill every shopkeeper easily. If you stood up in front of them and whipped them, they would drop their shotgun and deal one point of damage to you, and then you would just pick up their shotgun and hit them. So it, it, every shopkeeper you could have killed it was insanely easy. Okay, I want the flawless, so I'm not gonna worry about cheesing the boss. I'm just gonna go fight the boss. Also, here's some bees. Also, this gun looks lovely. Oh, we gotta fight two of them. All right, I forgot about that. All right, there goes our flawless. Well, you know what? If there goes our flawless, There you go. <laughs> I'll do it. I don't care. We've already lost our flawless. Let's take full advantage of these double Polaroid actions that we got going on here. Never before has a Polaroid been so powerful. Yo, it's also real hard to dodge when there's two enemies firing bullets at me at the same time. All right. Hey, come here. Gotcha. I don't know if we got the second one, but we definitely got the first one. All right. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. <laughs> I feel like it would be cool if you could fight the Pastor the Rat by wearing the outfit that says Cyber Gecko. Totally agree, that'd be awesome. 
Anyways, that was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna drop this because I don't wanna, I don't wanna fight you anymore, really. So, I don't know, I don't wanna fight you. So if you could just like leave me alone, that'd be great. Because I don't wanna fight you anymore. Also, I should have used Lament Configuring before leaving. That's my bad. Hey, Tim, how's it going? Did I get the gun right? Y yeah! Sure. 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 Okay, a strange man, I have a, a question for you in chat. When does Gunfire Reborn come out of early access? Because I would I would totally play it. But my my general stance lately has been to to ignore games in EA. But if it comes out at some point, dude, totally, I'm down. Excuse me. Easy. What am I playing after this? I don't know, we'll figure it out. I should really, you know, make a schedule for every every day of streaming. I actually want it, I want to do that. I want to be very regular about things so that you you can all tell what I'm gonna be streaming before you even start streaming it, but that'll be uh, coming up later. Whoa! Can't get me. Very good use of Gunder Fury. <laughs> also very good use of Gunder Fury, that right there. Oh. That's okay. Ah, no more surprises then. I mean, really, it wouldn't even necessarily just be for uh, for your benefit, it'd be for my benefit as well, so I could just be like, no, I'm not gonna play six hours of this game. I have a schedule to keep today, you know. A strange med says, Gunfire Reborn two to three months after EA release will be 1.0. That's not a lot of time. I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess as someone who hasn't even played the EA build, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a thing. That's that's all I can say. I can say it's a thing. I'll do it. Oh god. Okay, start shooting. I think we got him. <laughs> I like this room when it boils down to, oh, you have a gun? Start shooting it. Hey, good. Out of ammo, huh? Well, you know what? Saw blades. So up, and then middle. Structure your streams that you see fit Happy to be along for the rights as GT Corp. See, that's the type of attitude I like to hear. Thank you. <laughs> but also, I think I think generally having more structure would be a of a benefit. But I don't know. Can you pop a lament in a doorway and smack yourself when the door closes? And smack yourself when the door closes. The answer is no, because it's grayed out. You see, as soon as I enter the door connecting doorway, it's like, nope. And then I accidentally press it when I walked into the room, so, you know, let's actually do this. I need, I was gonna say, I need ammo, and we got some ammo. So, Gunder Fury, please take the ammo. I 
I will admit I had to read your mess your question a couple of times to figure out what smack you in the doorway meant, but I figured it out. I don't mind abusing the Gunder Fury like that. Like it's a, a massive waste of ammo. It's also really good at killing things. Very quickly. Oh my god, the ones. Oh, why did I, f what? I flipped the table and then clipped through it to the other side. Rosa Paula says, I'd like to see FTL or Monster Train after Gungeon. I don't know, we could play some uh, some FTL. Well, I say that, but as much as I like FTL, I just hate that the runs take three hours long. Sometimes, not all the times. You know, I know people who uh, who play FTL and you know, they'll, they'll play for an hour and a half on a run, but I think when you're doing hard mode, you gotta, you know, up the ante with your turns, you know, you can't just uh, make the same types of decisions that you would on easy and normal and expect it to work. I have no idea what hit me, by the way, because I saw I saw a, a spawn portal here, and the nearest enemy was down here, so I kind of was just like looking around to see where the enemy was, and I, I must have gotten hit by a bullet or something. Strange. Uh, in any case, yeah, we're gonna totally wreck the Lich, so let's go do this. Sorry, Scattershot. <laughs> oh. Thank you, double Polaroids. That's amazing. Abe needs Helix bullets for maximum screen barf. How about just two Scatter shots. You know how on the first secret room we got two Polaroids? What if we got two scatter shots? We'd break the game. Oops, it's this gun actually. You know what? Let me save the charge for the next bout of combat. Oh, I wanted to use spaceball. It's okay. Crown of guns! That'd be good. The dog paid out with something. I don't I don't have time to deal with it though, so sorry dog. Regardless, hey, easy uh, Lich fights. Just took a little bit of HP to make it work. That was a good run. Turned out it was very powerful. Thank you, double Polaroids. I didn't think they would actually work, but they do. Every Polaroid gives you double damage when you get hit, so it doesn't take too many to break the game. You love to see it. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.